Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the energy method for heat conduction problems, which can be used to prove the uniqueness of the solution of the heat equation. In the previous lecture, we discussed the energy method for wave equation. That is for problems uh, for vibrating string. The energy method can be can also be applied uh, to heat conduction problems. We can illustrate the uh, method uh, for a Dirichlet problem of heat equation. Okay, so consider the Dirichlet problem: U T minus K U X X equal to F of X T. For X varies from zero to L and T greater than zero. With the boundary conditions u of 0 t equal to a t, u of l t equal to b of t for t greater than or equal to 0 and the initial condition is given by u of x 0 equal to f of x. Okay. So let uh, w be uh, as in the previous example, uh, let w be a solution of the corresponding homogeneous problem with 0 initial and boundary conditions that is this w t minus k w x x equal to 0 w uh, this is the homogeneous equation it was non homogeneous so uh, this is the homogeneous equation with the uh, homogeneous boundary condition that is w 0 t equal to w l t equal to 0 and uh, the homogeneous initial condition is w of x 0 equal to 0 so uh, as in the previous example uh, our aim is to find or to prove the uh, the uniqueness of the solution of this uh, uh, problem one that is this prove that the solution w of this uh, problem two that is the corresponding homogeneous problem with the homogeneous initial and boundary conditions <coughs> that is zero boundary initial and initial conditions uh, has a zero solution that is we need to prove okay so uh, we suppose that w is the uh, solution of this uh, problem now uh, it is required to prove that this w is zero that is uh, we have to show that the solution w of 2 is a zero solution clear that is what is the method uh, we already know that now here we are defining the energy as e of t is equal to 1 by 2 into integral 0 to l w square dx where w is the solution of this uh, problem uh, with the corresponding homogeneous problem 2 okay now uh, the derivative of the uh, of e with respect to the time variable is e dash of t is equal to into integral 0 to l w square dx okay so integrating or uh, differentiating this we get 1 by 2 into integral 0 to l we have the integral derivative of w square is nothing but 2 into w into w of t w t dx okay so uh, this is nothing but uh, 2 we, we can uh, divide this 2 and this will be w into w t dx but uh, we know the uh, different the equation differential equation is w t minus the k w x x equal to 0 so we have k into w x x so we can replace that so we will get this k into w into w x x because w t is equal to k into w x x okay now uh, integrating this uh, by uh, by parts okay integration by parts we get taking k outside we have the first function is this and the second function is w x x so first function into integral of w x x with respect to x so we will get a w x from 0 to l where x from 0 to l minus integral 0 to l uh, the derivative of w that is w x into integral of w x x which is w x dx <coughs> so this is equal to applying the initial uh, these uh, conditions x equal to 0 and x equal to l okay that is uh, when x equal to l we have w of l comma t that is w of x of x comma t uh, we replaced uh, x by l so w of l comma t into w x of l comma t minus the lower limit applying the lower limit we will get w of 0 comma t into w x of 0 comma t now minus this into integral 0 to l w x all square dx because this is w x into w x okay now we have we already know that 
the boundary the boundary conditions are w l t is equal to 0 and w 0 t equal to 0 okay that is we assumed that w is the solution of this uh, problem so the boundary conditions are w 0 t equal to 0 and w l t equal to 0 so applying that we will get the first two terms will be zeros and uh, the derivative will be derivative of the energy will be e dash of t equal to minus k into integral 0 to l w x whole square dx okay from this we know that this is less than or equal to 0 because uh, this is uh, 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 wx whole square is a uh, as a positive uh, it is non negative and integral z it is from 0 to l so this will be uh, greater than or equal to 0 so here uh, e dash of t will be less than or equal to 0 okay that means uh, the energy e of t that is the derivative of the energy e dash of t is less than or equal to 0 that means e of t is not increasing okay this is less than or equal to the derivative is less than or equal to 0 therefore energy e of t is not increasing okay now at the point t equal to 0 at the initial point t equal to 0 we have the initial condition is w x 0 equal to 0 therefore we have uh, the e of 0 equal to 0 that is at the point t equal to 0 we have e of t equal to 0 when t equal to 0 because we have e of t equal to 1 by 2 u integral 0 to l w square dx this is our uh, uh, what uh, the energy so uh, when t equal to 0 we have w of x is equal x is 0 equal to 0 the initial condition therefore this will be 0 okay the energy will be 0 okay so e of 0 equal to 0 that is the energy at the point t equal to 0 and uh, from the definition of this uh, energy e of t will be greater than or equal to 0 because greater than or equal to 0 and integral 0 to l so this uh, we have the e of t is greater than or equal to 0 for all t therefore uh, we obtained that at the point t equal to 0 uh, e of t equal to 0 and e of t is greater than or equal to 0 for all t so we have e of t is identically equal to 0 because e of t is a non increasing function okay that means as t moves from 0 to infinity uh, it will not be increasing e of t will not be increasing but we already know that e of 0 equal to 0 and uh, e of t is greater than or equal to 0 <coughs> so uh, it follows that e of t is identically equal to 0 clear since e of t is identically equal to 0 we have w is equal to 0 because e of t equal to 0 uh, implies this integral is actually uh, this is uh, uh, greater, w square is greater than or equal to 0 and 0 to uh, integrating from 0 to l therefore from this we get this uh, e of t is identically equal to 0 implies w is equal to 0 okay identically equal to 0 for all t greater than or equal to 0 therefore we obtain that the solution of one is unique that means uh, we obtain that the solution of the second problem is uh, 0 that is w equal to 0 we obtain that therefore uh, the solution of the first problem first given problem is uh, uh, unique okay the solution of the first problem is unique <coughs> okay that is what, what is meant by that here so here we have proved uh, the uniqueness of the solution of the Dirichlet problem now the same method can also be used for the Newman problem also that is to uh, prove the uniqueness of the Newman problem that is the uh, Newman problem is boundary condition will be different that is this is uh, the uh, Dirichlet problem that is the uh, problem with Dirichlet boundary conditions that is u of 0 t equal to a t and u of l t equal to some b t now for Newman problems we have the uh, the which are problems uh, with Newman boundary conditions the Newman boundary conditions are that is ux of uh, 0 t equal to some a of t and uh, ux of l t equal to b of t so the same proof uh, uh, can also be applied to the Newman problems also that is the, uh, uh, the problems with the Newman boundary conditions okay also uh, the proof is uh, can be uh, used to uh, problems with boundary conditions uh, of third kind okay that is uh, even it, it is it can be used for the uh, problems with the boundary condition of the third kind that is that is the mixed boundary conditions okay so u of 0 t minus alpha into u x of 0 t equal to a of t u of l t plus beta into u x of l t equal to b of t for t greater than or equal to 0 and alpha beta are greater than or equal to 0 okay this is the uh, 
boundary conditions of the third kind or or mixed boundary conditions so uh, here uh, the, uh, the the remark says that uh, the same proof uh, can also be used for the newman problems that is the, that is the uh, the problems with newman boundary conditions and for the uh, problems with the boundary conditions of third kind that is uh, the robin type boundary conditions or mixed boundary conditions okay so you just try to prove the uh, uniqueness of the solutions of newman problems and uh, robin type problems okay thank you